Let's take a tour and see trial of this 2300 Key West for sale with 2012 power in Palm Beach County, Florida. If you're in the market for an offshore center council with tons of upgrades and family amenities with 100% composite wood-free construction so you never have to worry about decks or transoms getting soft in your lifetime, this is one you seriously should take a look at. Tons of high-end upgrades on this boat. A newer windlass has been installed, a Furuno radar system, a newer Garmin GPS and fish finder with Chirp technology, all new vinyl, and best of all, the 2012 repower of the Mercury 250 Optimax with SmartCraft instrumentation and new Seastar hydraulic steering with only 265 hours. This boat's professionally detailed weekly and take a look at the video presentation and the pictures, the cleanliness, the shine on the hull, and the overall condition of this boat. There is not a stress crack or spider crack anywhere on this hull. It is in terrific, lovingly maintained condition. Nice swim step with boarding door. Great when you're fishing or getting in the water at the sandbar with your family and friends. Some nice upgrades there, TKVA swim step. And you can see the beautiful condition of the cowling of the 2012 Mercury 250 Optimax. Huge fish box at the transom right where you want it. And that's insulated. It holds ice very well. Note the cleanliness. None of the normal rust stains and owner's junk everywhere in there. If you're sick of looking at other boats on the market where you can't even see in the compartments, there's dirt, grime, mold, and mildew everywhere, take a look at this video presentation. Large oval live wall right at the leaning post where you want it. Oval in shape to keep the bait fish fresh when you're headed offshore to do some serious fishing. Beautiful bolsters and rod storage all around the sides there. Lots of space behind the leaning post. Beautiful rocket launchers and the metal's in really good shape. Look at the vinyl all throughout this boat. Just an awesome layout. And the leaning post is not butt up against the transom. Lots of space there. And you can see we have the rear back seat. You can put that at the helm seat as well. But that's a popular place to sit. Note the cleanliness of the bilge. Optima Blue Top AGMs and your oil tank to fill with battery switch. Very clean. There's a favorite seating spot for your passengers right there on the transom. Nice use of space there over that fish box. Large console, many you can't even fit in in this size range. This one has tons of space. Even a brand new porta potty and battery charger even has a step to make it easier to get into the console. Lots of storage there. You can see what a nice area. None of that rust mold and mildew and wide side decks for getting to the bow as you can see. The aluminum on the T-top is in excellent shape. And you can see getting to the bow, lots of space. Big bow area for throwing the towels down and laying out in the sun. There's the new windlass, the Lumar model up on the front. Brand new Igloo cooler with the custom cushion on top, and it's like new. And you can see big fish boxes there. You could use those as coolers if you got tons of friends going out, or you could put the fish in there for a prize catch after a day offshore. Again, note the lack of mold, mildew, rust stains, all the junk that you see on most boats. Remember, this is a 2003 boat. There is not a stress crack to be found anywhere. Tons of space for the 23-foot boat here. This Key West has lots of usable space. It was really well designed, and that's why it's one of its best-selling models of all time. There's the beautiful Furuno top-of-the-line radar system. You got LED spreaders on the front and the rear. Great T-top, and the fabric is in very nice condition. If you're sick of raising and lowering the anchor, this one's got that Lumar windlass, top-of-the-line stuff in the marine industry. And you can also stow the anchor in its closed compartment. That's very nice. Top of the line Taco Grand Slam undermount adjustable outriggers, and those have the extendable poles. That's top of the line stuff in the marine industry. Beautiful rocket launchers. There's your front and rear spreader lights. Everything working on this boat very nicely. Look at the helm seats in beautiful condition. The vinyl is brand new. You got four speakers at the helm on a brand new Bluetooth sound system. Nice EVA custom footrest there. Brand new Sea Star hydraulic steering when they repowered the boat in 2012. Great electronics box for keeping your stuff dry, and that's where the radar and VHF is. Let's take an in depth look. You got cup holders, your Mercury binnacle control. This one does have the upgraded Lenko electric trim tabs, your Lumar windlass right at the helm. You got your upgraded Garmin 7 inch GPS fish finder with Chirp technology. 
preloaded with all the maps, all your 12 volt switches. And this one upgraded in 2012 with the SmartCraft digital instrumentation instead of the typical stuff that you see analog. Top of the line Garmin GPS unit, really quick refresh rates on this unit, it has the fish finder capability as well as the GPS. There's the four speaker Bluetooth sound system. You can hook it right to your phone to listen to your favorite tunes when you're headed out to the sandbar or offshore catching some fish. Top of the line unit in VHF with the Shakespeare antenna on the T-top and both sun covers for the radar and the GPS are included. The other top of the line thing you're not going to see on many 23 foot boats is a Furuno 1623 radar, top of the line unit in the marine industry. You can adjust the settings to gain whatever you need to go offshore in the fog. All the 12 volt switch is working. Now on to the best part, the Mercury 250 Optimax repowered in 2012 with a new C-Star hydraulic steering system, a beautiful stainless prop, new binnacle controls, new throttle cables, new C-Star helm tilt steering wheel, top of the line stuff here. And when you look at underneath the cowling, it looks brand new. Starts right up, turn to the key with those Optima Blue Top AGM batteries. She is ready to go. The Key West 2300 Blue Water is 23 feet 4 inches overall with a beam of 8 foot 6 inches. With 265 hours on the 2012 power, she is turnkey and ready to go. Let's move on to the sea trial and show you how fast this boat comes out of the hole with the 250 Optimax. As you can see, instantaneously on plane at a cruise speed of 30 miles per hour. There's a reason why the Department of Homeland Security here in Florida uses these 250 Optimaxes, getting two, three, and 4,000 hours of time out of these engines with hard stern abuse. That's because their power to weight ratio makes them great for their offshore boats. Here we are headed southbound intercoastal waterway, a nice 30 mile an hour cruise pass, and you can see the nice level running attitude and dry ride of the Key West 2300. When you look online, read the reviews on the Key West boats. They're one of the best well-reviewed boats there are on the market. With quality craftsmanship, all composite hulls, all nice stainless hardware, they are meant to last and are ready for offshore conditions. Note how dry she is through the wake as we're crossing over in the sea trial presentation. We'll do some tight turns in this presentation as well, and it's a real testament to the quality of the Sea Star hydraulic helm and steering system, top of the line stuff in the marine industry. Really pretty lines on the 2300. They really nailed the design on this one from Key West, and that's the reason it's one of their best selling models to date. With the 2012 power, instead of looking at another boat with 2003 or 2008 power with 700, 800, or even 1,000 hours, here's your chance to get a boat with low hour, late model power that's ready to go for many years. Let's talk performance. Cruise speed on this boat is right at 4,000 RPMs, which will put you right at 30 miles per hour. Take a look at the hole shot once again. This is the skier pass as we call it. No problem pulling a tuber or skier out of the water with a day of family fun if you're not offshore fishing. But that extra horsepower, even if you're not pulling a tuber, getting through a rough inlet, when you have those waves behind you or in front of you, it really lets you control the boat like a professional captain would. With a 140 gallon gas tank, you have plenty of fuel and range as needed to head out offshore multiple times or on a long trip without having to worry about finding the next fuel dock. Nice tight turn you can see there coming back at the camera angle and you can see what a smooth dry ride this boat has even on a windy day as it is today. Top speed on this boat is 5,500 RPMs, which is the manufacturer's stated RPM for maximum RPM on the 250 Optimax. And that will turn the boat at 45 to 47 miles an hour, depending upon loading conditions, which is really flying. Here we are coming back around after a tight turn. We're gonna sit her back down in the water and this boat just has beautiful lines, whether you're on the drift or you're up on plane, it just looks really good. It's a sharp looking boat. And with the color design on it, it's gonna look good for years to come. We'll spin her around, watch the whole shot once again. Watch how fast this boat comes out of the water. We're not using any trim tabs whatsoever during this video presentation. There she is, right up on plane nearly instantaneously. 
I mean, this is the right power. You'll see some of these boats with 200s and 225 horsepower engines. If you can get one with the 250, that is the way to go. Even better with newer 212 power with only 265 hours. Think of the resale after you use this boat for three, four, five years. The engine hours with only 265 hours on 2012 power, you have so much life left in this package that when you go to turn out and sell this boat to upgrade or move to a different style boat, you're going to get your money right back. And that's the beauty of this package with all these fine upgrades and the condition that it's in. Here we are once again, spinner around. Nice tight turn. You can see how well that prop stays hooked up. That stainless prop on this boat's a top of the line propeller on the Mercury 250, and it's in great condition. The boat stays hooked up very nice, and we're going to do a high speed pass here at nearly wide open throttle, which will get you a speed of over 45 miles an hour at around 5,500 RPMs. Just a beautiful ride there on the Key West. And you can see how level and dry it rides. Not pounding, not slamming, a very comfortable ride for the friends and family when you're headed out offshore or headed to the sandbar or the local restaurant. Look at it eat up the chop, a very nice ride. Back down in the water one more time to show you how she comes out of the hole. Really impressive. It's one of the things you look at without using tabs. How well does the boat come out of the water to see if it's sufficiently powered? And you can see here in this video presentation how much like a rocket ship this boat is with that 250. If you lay down the throttle full open coming out of the water, you better tell your passengers to hold on or they're not going to be ready for the torque that this 250 Optimax creates. Read the reviews on the 250 Optimax and how fine of an engine it is. They really got it dialed in in this 2010 to 2015 model year. It's one of the most popular engines due to its power to weight ratio. Overall, you can appreciate this package of being the captain on this boat with a Furuno radar system, a new Garmin system, a Lumar windlass on the top, a 2012 repower with Seastar hydraulic steering, all those nice fine upgrades with new vinyl on this boat. It's really a turnkey package without a single stress crack on this boat anywhere. The shine on the hull and the professional detail that it receives weekly, it's a turnkey boat and it's ready for its next proud owner. If you've been on some other center councils designed to go offshore, one thing that you'll notice with the Key West 2300 due to the hull design in the bottom, it's not as tippy as some that you see. The design of the chine and the outer strikes on this boat, it really sits level when you're on the drift. If you have friends or family that get queasy when they're out offshore in the drift because the boat is rocking back and forth, this is one you should seriously put on your list for its level ride. And when you go out to the sides of the boat to catch or pull in a fish, you'll notice it's not tippy. It's one of the best advantages on this Key West 2300 hull design. Not only does it cut through the chop with that nice sharp entry on the bow, but because it flattens out a little bit towards the back, it sits very level in the water when you're on the drift. And that's really a good compromise boat. It's not just a straight DV and it's not just a flat bottom. It handles those offshore conditions depending upon how you want to drive it very well. If you're sick of looking at boats with switches, lights, buttons, pumps, not working, broken, junk everywhere, rust, mold, and mildew, look at this boat. You're going to see the difference. It's 100% turnkey, and it's ready for its next proud owner. Even a beautiful aluminum tandem easy loader trailer with aluminum bunks that you'll never have to worry about the wood or carpet being replaced is ready to roll, and it fits this boat very nicely. Please note the shine on the hull with a recent buff and wax. It's detailed professionally weekly and it is ready to go for its next proud owner. Thanks so much for watching this video presentation. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to contact the owner.